How's the pre-season been? How are you feeling? No, I'm feeling good. Um, yeah, pre-season has been really good. I got, I got a nice little break, come back a bit later. Uh, but when I got back, the team was flying. Uh, the young boys had a great win on the weekend um, up at Griffiths. So, uh, good signs, mate. And, you know, hopefully we'll head to Mudgee this week and get another win in that game as well. Yeah, looking forward to that when we'll we down there. But there's some good talent coming through. Those yeah. Some of those kids at Griffith uh, will be pushing for first grade spots. Yeah, they will be, mate. And, like, there's, there's a lot of young, young talent that's, you know, gives us a lot of depth as well and mate, talking about Davey, uh, he's going to be great for us. Uh, Davey Mawali, yeah? Yeah, the, uh, Pete Mamazoula, he's, he's been great all, all summer out at, at Hooker as well, along with Josh Cook as well, so um, you know, got some, got some depth there and um, and some of the young boys, you know, you're talking, you know, Keon's still young, um, he's been one of our best trainers, I reckon, uh, through the whole summer and uh, I reckon he'll be obviously on the back row this year. And I think he's going to make that position his and he's going to be a nice big powerful back row for us. Mate, we've got uh, Joe O'Callaghan coming on the show next week. He doing a great job uh, with the system, with our young kids coming through. He, he is, mate, and I think he's just a uh, big thing he's doing is making sure they understand what we're doing in first grade, so when they are coming up through that system, they know the principles on the field, they know the plays that we're doing, um, everything's the same, so we don't have, you know, we don't have to sort of teach them that when they when they get to first grade, and it's just the next man up sort of mentality, so no, he's doing a great job, along with, uh, you know, players like Sutto and SG Ball and that, they're keeping, it's a great little pathway that we've got here at South Sydney. Right. And how have guys like Joy and uh, Jacob fitted in with the squad, mate? Mate, Joy, Joy's been outstanding. Uh, you know, obviously, I'm going to really enjoy playing alongside him in the middle. Uh, he's got great leg speed. He's a bit unpredictable in the middle too. He likes to do his own thing, uh, and then he's got a bit of footwork and offload as well, which will hopefully create a bit of ruck speed for us. Uh, we've got Josh Mantle. He's, he's very professional around around training and all that as well, and hopefully a lot of the young boys can, can learn from that and, and take those good habits on board and lift the standards. And then Benji being the other one who's just... Um, yeah, especially for our leadership uh, group, you know, the senior boys, I think that's where he's going to do his best work, just keeping us accountable and um, you know, making sure we keep our standards high and we can filter that through the group and hopefully they're the missing pieces of the puzzle, mate, and get us to that big, the big dance. Mate, I know it's a few weeks away, but round one against the Premiers, must yeah. be looking forward to that. Mate, I think there's no better way to start the season against them, um, you know, the Premiers and especially Melbourne end time. So, uh, we're looking forward to getting down there. We understand how hard it is to win down there. We've had some big matches down there, been very close. So um, you know, we'll be definitely up for that game, and uh, you know, we're going to hit out here against the Dragons and tweak anything we need to before that game. And uh, you know, especially early rounds, it's all about completing and, and uh, looking after each other in defence. And uh, we should be alright, mate. Stuff, mate. Legend, mate. Thanks. Appreciate it.